My name is Sumita Ghosh and I'm a fellow with the Swaniti Initiative. Today I'm here to speak with Sri Dinesh Trivedi, uh, the MP from Bharatpur, who uh, we are working with on uh, the Jute Health Improvement Project. So I have a few questions that he's been kind enough to explain to us um, based on his background and um, his aspirations for seeing change in that constituency. Thank you for meeting us. Pleasure. Um, Uncle, could you please tell us a little bit about how you came to enter the government um, and politics? No, it's, a, it's a really a long story, but uh, basically uh, you have inclination towards public life. And when you have inclination, things start happening. Uh, even as a student in America, I used to be involved in the Students uh, Association and things like that. So I guess it was a natural inclination to be in public life. And that's how I came. Were you involved or had you thought about policy and change when you were a youth yourself? You see, youth has a mind which is full of ideas and ideals too. And they want to transform those ideals and see it into action. Uh, but as they grow old, some people give up, some of them they start early, and they are always at it. So I was very fortunate to be at it and I'm still at it. You can never have all the dreams fulfilled. If you had all the dreams fulfilled, then I think life would be very boring. Um, are you satisfied with the participation of youth in government in India today? I think there is a huge scope. At the moment, uh, youth, they don't know how to get into politics. There are no systems by which one can really get into politics at which is entry level. And I think the time has come where the Indian youth, which is scattered all over the world, and who are talented. If you go to any great university in the world, whether it is Harvard, MIT, Stanford, you name it, Oxford, Cambridge, it's full of great Indian students. And I think time has come where we have their talent being utilized in building India. India is a great country with fantastic future, but all we need is to put in a team. And this is a great uh, opportunity for uh, Swamiti and uh, even the legislator to work as a team. I just wanted to thank you for uh, being the change, actually, that you see yourself. Um, and it's just an amazing example, example that you're setting for others to embrace and encourage youth engagement in making change from a policy perspective here. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you indeed.